Hello guys and girls, this is Evan and today I'm going to make a tutorial on the Pricejack single and multi-lister. The date is uh, Tuesday, April 11th, 2017 and I'm making this tutorial because I received a couple of questions regarding the options and abilities that Pricejack lister is offering. In my previous video, I did a short tutorial on Yakpal which is a Chrome extension which will help you pick the right ASINs and product IDs from multiple sources like um, Overstock and Amazon and Walmart in a very easy way. If you haven't watched that video, I suggest that you do since I think that it would be beneficial to see how easy it is to scrape the IDs of thousands of products. Now, before I proceed with the tutorial, let me say that the lister is offered for the time being for free, included with your Pricejack monthly subscription. However, I know for a fact that Pricejack is thinking of releasing it for a monthly subscription as a standalone service. So stay tuned and when I have more news about it, I will let you know with a new video. So let's go and see what are the capabilities offered by Pricejack's uh, lister. I'm going to show you two examples. Uh, you know, in these short videos, I cannot cover all possible options and capabilities. And what I try to do is to give you a, a basic idea of what is possible and what is not. If, however, you have a question or you need something clarified, please do let me know below. And I will try to answer it or cover it on a new video. So, as I said, I'm going to give you two examples, uh, one for single listing, which we're going to edit before we actually list it, and a second example of multiple listings, which are going to be listed automatically without our intervention. So, let's start with um, the first example, which is this product that I have uh, chosen here for a reason. You will see why. And uh, I'm sure you should remember this add-on, which if you just go here, identify product variant and click, you will see, you will get the ASIN for this one. You have to copy. Okay, and now we'll go to the lister of Pricejack. In order to go to the lister, you have to go to create listings and choose the first option which says create listings. We're going to cover the other options, listing requests and listing settings and what they do in future videos. So, uh, the very first thing you need to do is choose the source market. As you can see, you have uh, these sources for the time being, but um, more sources are added constantly. And the second thing you need to do is just paste the ASIN that we just scraped from Amazon. Now, in this example, I'm going to review and list. I'm not going to list it, which is going to automatically list it without our intervention. Uh, we're going to review first the item and see what are the editing capabilities that uh, PriceX Lister is giving us. So I'm going to click on review and list. And we're going to see what editing capabilities we have. And here, after a few seconds, we get the, this button, which says Review. So if we click here, we will see how the listing will look like. So I'm getting here a warning that uh, this is a, a duplicate of another pending listing request it's because I tried this example before, so I have tried to list it before, but I haven't actually. So anyway, so this is the listing that we have over here, and it is uh, scraped, as you can see, and the description is very, very short. Let me also show you the rest of the listing. This is it. So what are the editing capabilities before we list this item. Well, first of all, you can list and you can change, excuse me, you can change whatever you want here inside. Okay, it accepts HTML. I'm going to show you a little bit later on. And you can change the title to whatever you want. List it, um, delete it, edit it, add whatever you want. And it also 
uh, it will also will not allow you to go beyond 80 characters. So as you can see, you can go up to 80 characters. You can change uh, price. You can add item specifics over here. You can say, uh, I don't know, whatever you want, voltage, for example, something like that. 5.5 uh, .5 volts or whatever. Uh, you can also view the images, you can uh, delete images, and you can add if you want your own images. And at the end, after you have edited the listing exactly as you want it, you can either reject it if you don't like it or approve it. Now, let me show you something else. As you can see here, the description is scraped from Amazon. It has only text. And this is what Pricejack is doing because it doesn't know what the pictures contain. So, for example, if pictures contained the name of the site which this listing comes from, it wouldn't know that, it, uh, that it, the, the image inside says Amazon or Overstock or Walmart or whatever. So it uh, deletes the images and gets only the text. However, it also has the ability to scan the text and delete any mention of uh, the source like Amazon, Overstock and so on. So in this case, let me show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back to Amazon and I'm going to take the whole description, including the pictures, which I really like, as you can see here. All right. And I'm going to copy everything. I'm going to go back. I'm going to select the whole text, right-click, paste, and as you can see, it takes everything. And you have this ability to create very, very beautiful listings. As you can see here, it, has, it accepts HTML and accepts photos, accept, as, accepts almost everything. But of course, you are now responsible to check if there is any mention of uh, the source. Amazon, Walmart, whatever. So after you're done, the only thing that you need to do is click on approve and your listing is listed on your store. So let me go back now and let me show you how, uh, let me give you the second example on how you can do multiple listings. So here we are again on the lister but this time we're going to see how it reacts and how it lists multiple items i have already scraped uh, a few items and the only thing i'm going to do is paste and now it has all the items here with the isins and I'm going to click list now. That's all you need to do when you do not want to intervene. So you, you only want to list these items directly to your store. So let's see what's going to do. So here we are again. And uh, in just a few seconds, these listings have been listed in our store. And we get the report of what has happened with each and every of those listings. For example, we see here no offers found which meet seller selection criteria, which means that this listing, this item did not list in our store because uh, maybe it was an FBA or an FBM item. Maybe it didn't meet the shipping uh, speed that we chose. But anyway, Pricejack always checks to make sure that our criteria are met by all the products that it lists. Also, if you see here down below, uh, there is a, a listing brand called Zodiac, which is uh, part of our blacklist. If you don't know what's a blacklist, it's best if you watch the video on filtering, on Pricejack filtering. I've made this video a few weeks back and it will give you a very pretty good idea of what's going on. Now, the rest of the, of the items have been listed, and um, you can see 
for each item and you can actually click on each item and see and see it in your store so also let me give you just one last hint sometimes uh, either because uh, eBay is slow or because uh, price yeah could not uh, scrape all the images sometimes uh, it doesn't list some items because there is an internal uh, error. So in that case, and especially when you list thousands of items, which is where the price yak lister shines, because it, you can list a thousand, two thousand, three thousand items in a matter of uh, three, four, five minutes, which is you know amazing. So if you list a lot of uh, items, it's best if you uh, click once or twice the retry failed listings and sometimes some of the listings that have failed they can be actually listed in your uh, store so this is it for this tutorial thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to be notified of any new posts if you have any comments or questions please ask them below and i will try to answer them as quickly and uh, as thoroughly as i can or cover them in a new video so please do let me know if you have a request for a new video and the subject you would like me to cover. Until then, I will see you in the next video. Have a great day with lots of profitable sales.